Tonight is a prime example on why we encourage you to hold off on doing any planting, even though it has felt like spring for several weeks. We're now in that risky situation that temperatures are going to drop close to freezing and at times below freezing, making your plants any of those early blooms more vulnerable to frost developing and perhaps even damaging some of them. So let's talk about how frost actually forms. Here's a look right now that frost can actually form when temperatures that air temperature is above the freezing mark. 32 degrees, for example. So if the air temperature is at 33 to 38, you're thinking, okay, why do I have to worry about frost? Here's why. That's because we have this cold air that's going to sink. We're losing a lot of that daytime heating at night on the clear, calm, and cold nights. The ground is going to be at 32 degrees as well as some surfaces close to the ground and those surfaces we can have frost developing especially when we have water molecules or water vapor in the air and that's going to allow those ice crystals to form and when temperatures are colder even in the 20s that layer of ice that forms could be a lot thicker and could cause more damage to your tender plants and vegetation in addition it does make defrosting your windshields for example a little bit longer so it does require more time as you start off your day so here's what you can do either bring them inside if possible or you can cover them with a light cloth if you can't cover them or bring them inside perhaps you can water them and watering your plants believe it or not will allow them to retain heat i'll send it back to you guys kj thank you and we'll remind folks that we always have more for you on our YouTube channel for Weather IQ, including more tips to get you ready for planting season. If you are not subscribed, take out your phone, scan that QR code on your screen. That will take you straight to our YouTube page where you can like and subscribe for more content.